Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Reacts reviews and off times reminisces. Um, when we get to the noisier, noisier end of the spectrum, uh, sometimes it's a fine line between um, music that um, draws you in and, uh, and music that um, doesn't uh, on the basis, a uh, number of bases really, but uh, normally because it's too blooming boring. Um, it's all right making a right fucking racket which is how i usually like it uh, but you still got to do it right and uh, it's, uh but the trouble is i suppose is that uh, making noise um without it sounding boring through sounding like everybody else is quite difficult and it's all about nuances really um which brings us brings us to serpent's looks um who or as noisy as the best of them, but there are nuances that uh, do uh, make sure that, in for these ears anyway, that um, um, it isn't just one of the crowd. It is something that um, I discern a difference to, <laughs> even if it's uh, relatively uh, slight. It's enough um, when um, when really it's all about the health of leather. So anyway, let's have a listen, shall we? I think we shall. So very often for me the um what what makes a difference um tends to be a holistic overview of something so uh, it's the whole thing that um that uh makes me decide upon whether I like a particular song or not um and very occasionally there are um there are elements that uh, I'll on their own are enough for me to to um, enjoy something regardless of what the rest of the instruments are doing um, and this is a case in point that's not to say I don't enjoy what the rest of the instruments are doing but um, let's just say I could forgive everything on the basis of this <laughs> they're just, they're just uh, relentless drumming really um, I don't know if this is a, a real live drummer or one that lives inside uh, the ghost of one that lives inside a drum machine but um, Regardless, um, they are impactful to say the least, and um, for me, a clattering barrage of drums it just sort of makes my day, really. Um, it leaves with a smile on my face and a uh, ringing in my ears, usually, hopefully. <laughs>
I shall hark on the drums a while. It, it, unusually for most of what I listen to, these drums are right up the floor, up to the fore, and then um, because usually the, um, the, the my preferred listenings have drums that are just in the mix, and everything is in the mix. There's nothing particularly prominent about anything. Um, usually, the, the fact that these are well to the floor. Oh, to keep saying floor four four well to the four <laughs> means um i can enjoy uh, i mean the version on the bonkers at times which is which is always nice um and strangely bear in mind that i'm probably at my happiest if it's just ridiculous speed from start to finish as far as the drums are concerned they are mixing it up here uh, and i'm still enjoying it just as much um so uh, they're doing it right. Um, as far as the other instrumentation is concerned, um, every time I listen to it, I only bought this other day, but I listened to it two or three times now, and the um, the guitar work um, sounds more progressive than, than when I first listened to it. Um, it's not just heads, heads, now, heads down. Today I can't say things properly. Perhaps I ought to have a minute. Are you prepared to wait though? You're not here. Uh, it's just heads down, no nonsense, minus boogie. It's not heads down, no nonsense, minus boogie. The the uh, the guitar work is more considered than that, uh, and um, quite sharp and stabby with it. Before I forget, um, very often in songs, particularly songs where I'm really lo lo loving the drums, uh, I get annoyed by bright cymbals. I don't like bright cymbals, um, by and large. Of course, sometimes uh, there's exceptions to that. But by and large, in a, in a heads down uh, blast along, you can forget about the cymbals as far as I'm concerned. The bright ones, anyway, the ones that ting and ping and whatever. Uh, but <laughs> The glorious crashimondo marathon of um, crashing symbols just then was a, was a delight to behold, um, and I would um, be, be quite happy to be sat under those symbols when they were being recorded. Uh, anyway. <laughs> interesting really there's three prongs to this this song and most of the songs on this album really um you've got those ridiculous drums um which as i say are, are a delight for me those imperious magist magisterial vocals um uh and the guitars are a bit of a conundrum for me because it's not the sort of guitar style i normally like um but um they're working well enough here for me the, the, they are basically scratching your eyes out. They are uh, that sort of um, rhythm-based guitar it doesn't seem to be particularly prevalent here. It's more that sort of abrasive um, barbed wire guitar, which um, isn't a bad thing in this case. <laughs>
So there you go. That didn't do my tinnitus any good at all. Um, but um, it's beyond saving my ears now. Um, after working so long down a coal mine with all the racket down there, working on an oil rig with all the racket there, and listening to um, rock and roll music for the past uh, 50 odd years, um, my ears basically, um, I'm surprised they're still there. Surprised they haven't. Um, found a uh, a new place to dwell but anyway uh yes rest of the album just as um <laughs> just as clattery as that and as stabby um so um if you like that you'll like the rest of it anyway clicky bollocks catch you on next time cheerio <laughs>